A Hawa radio presenter reads from a book. Today's lesson, Learning English. The broadcast is part of the station's radio teacher show, which broadcasts in Pashto and English. The weekly show launched shortly after the Taliban seized power was a way to reach Afghan girls in eastern Khost and Paktia provinces who are blocked from attending school. Uh, that's a poor Because many of our compatriots in remote areas have no access to education or schools, we started our radio programs. Since the August of 2021 takeover, the Taliban have imposed strict restrictions on women, including a ban on girls from sixth grade attending schools. The staff at Hawa Radio say, Audience surveys show many women in the region are tuning in. Among them is Sana Samun. There is no school for girls in our village. Thankfully, Hawa Radio has a good program. They have books for the radio show, and we learn from them. My other sisters are also learning. With a mission of giving hope, Hawa Radio broadcasts several programs on the radio and the Internet. Locals including Mujahid Malang, say the program is beneficial, particularly for girls. These programs aired by Hawa Radio are appreciated. I can see that girls take their books and learn in their homes. While residents are happy to have access to a literacy program via the radio, they want the Taliban to end their ban on formal education for girls. Akhtar Sahar finds it upsetting that his little sister can no longer go to school along with him. Every morning that I go to school, I get upset. She also gets upset, saying my brother goes to school and I stay at home. I demand from the ruling government to open girls' schools as soon as possible. It has been nearly 14 months since girls were permitted a full education. The Taliban have given mixed responses about educating them, saying it is religious or cultural issue, or that classes for girls will resume when the environment is safer. But calls from inside Afghanistan and the international community to end the ban are growing. Shaista Sadat Lami, VOE News, Washington. Sorry.